It is a race between vaccine distribution and COVID variants as New York City's COVID infection numbers are once again on the rise. And there is growing fear of another dangerous spike before the majority of the people are vaccinated. Joining us this morning, New York City Health Commissioner, Dr. Dave Choksi. Nice to have you back on Good Day. Thank you so much. Good morning, Lori and Rosanna. So, Commissioner, let's talk about the numbers. What does it look like? What are the COVID numbers? Because apparently we're hearing some kind of discrepancy between the city's numbers and the state numbers. What are the numbers and, and should we be concerned? We're watching the numbers like hawks uh, as usual. Cases, hospitalizations and deaths. And overall, you know, what we're seeing is that um, those numbers are plateauing uh, rather than plunging, which is what I would like to see with all of them. Uh, and they're staying um, plateaued at a relatively high level, particularly of cases. Uh, and so that's a reason for concern, a reason for us to keep following them closely and also do the things that we know um, can help curb the spread of the virus. Why are the state's numbers lower than the city's numbers? Um, the state and the city do have um, different ways of calculating the numbers. You know, I can't uh, speak for the state's methodology, but what I can tell you is that uh, the city uses uh, the most rigorous um, scientific standards for us to have an accurate snapshot of what's happening uh, in our communities. But taking a step back, you know, when you look at the trends, uh, you know, between the two sets of numbers, they're often very similar. And that's what's most important when we make the critical decisions about what to do in the pandemic. We know you're recovering from having COVID and you did get your J&J &J, uh, vaccination. Let's talk about just vaccinations period in the city and the distribution and if we're keeping up with the demand. Yes, well, uh, I'm uh, grateful to have been vaccinated myself and joining uh, so many other New Yorkers. We're going to hit uh, three and a half million doses administered today, which is a really remarkable thing. Uh, and that means, you know, each person, each shot brings us one step closer uh, to turning the corner on the pandemic. Um, we still have a ways to go and we need more supply, um, particularly from the federal government uh, to be able to do that. Uh, but my message to my fellow New Yorkers is uh, when it's your turn, um, sign up for uh, a slot for an appointment uh, and get vaccinated because it's the most important thing to protect against COVID-19. What about your message to parents? Uh, we know that now elementary, middle school, high school kids are allowed back in school. The mayor wants to, in April, uh, allow for the distance between desks to be six feet apart versus three feet apart versus the six feet that's present. And a lot of teachers still are not coming back for whatever reasons, whether or not they didn't get vaccinated or they don't feel safe. Um, well, we are seeing uh, so many um, school staff get vaccinated as well, and that's a really critical part, um, but it adds to all of the layers of safety that we've already put in uh, in our schools, um, not just uh, distancing, but also uh, wearing masks, um, the testing that we do in our schools as well. So my overarching message uh, to parents is that um, we have uh, created the gold standard for health and safety here in New York City and we will do everything we possibly can to keep kids safe. Can we talk about the variants? Everybody's concerned about variants and may, may or may not affect us. And I'm just wondering, have you seen anybody who's been vaccinated fully come down with this new variant? Um, it's a very good question and we're following it very closely. Um, there are different variants. And remember, um, the vaccines, although they're excellent, safe, effective, life-saving vaccines, um, they're, they're not 100% effective uh, even against the older versions of the virus. With all of that said, what we are seeing is that the vaccines offer um, excellent immunity, including to the new variants from everything that we can tell thus far. Um, there are some of the variants, um, particularly the ones that were first identified in South Africa and Brazil, um, which have shown a slightly lower uh, response with respect to vaccination, but it's usually still uh, good enough, particularly to protect from severe illness, you know, hospitalization uh, and death. So, uh, you know, putting it all together, um, this is an area where we have to continue following the science, but from what we can tell thus far, the vaccines confer good immunity, including to the new variants of the virus. That's good news. Commissioner, um, I'm sure you're aware the governor's getting some heat today for allegedly prioritizing family members and VIPs for COVID testing. 
during the early days of the coronavirus. I'm just wondering, has the mayor asked the city health department to do anything similar? Um, well, I, you know, I remember those early days of the pandemic uh, all too well. Uh, those, those memories are seared in my brain uh, forever. And I remember how difficult it was uh, you know, to get a test and how we had to um, prioritize them for the, the people who most needed them. Um, you know, the, the mayor has uh, always sought to lead by example. I'll just give you a very, you know, recent example of that. Uh, he waited his turn until he was eligible for the vaccine and, you know, didn't uh, ask any special favors with respect to vaccination. And when it was his turn, um, he got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine uh, to make it clear uh, to everyone that it was safe and effective. So, um, so I think, you know, what we've seen from this mayor uh, is a commitment to the health and safety of New Yorkers. So no problems with the COVID testing and any prioritizing anybody? No, the mayor has made it very clear that, you know, the charge is for us to um, open up testing and have it be accessible to, to everyone. Uh, you know, no special favors, no special treatment. All right. Can we talk about another issue that we're all discussing, a deal being reached about recreational marijuana? Do you have any concerns about it? We have heard some people who have had it too close to home who have concerns that it is a gateway drug. On the other hand, we look at the injustice with the, um, with the judicial system as well. What are your thoughts? Well, you describe it very well. Um, you know, the criminalization of marijuana um, does come with uh, many harms. Um, including health harms, and they particularly hit, uh, you know, certain communities, communities of color, you know, our, our black and brown uh, fellow New Yorkers. Uh, and so I do think that um, the benefits of, uh, uh, of, of moving away from the criminalization of marijuana is a very important thing, including from the health perspective. Um, with that said, you know, we always have to look at uh, health holistically. And so just because uh, something becomes legal doesn't mean that everyone should be doing it. Uh, and so we have to be judicious uh, and make sure that people are aware of uh, some of the other harms that can come from using marijuana as well, informing people, ensuring that they have uh, the best uh, facts to be able to make decisions for themselves. So you don't see it as a gateway? Um, the evidence that marijuana serves as a gateway drug is, uh, is, is not strong. Uh, and so, you know, it's not something that um, I would necessarily uh, advocate, you know, particularly for uh, younger people, um, because we know that, that uh, smoking marijuana in particular um, can harm uh, lungs. Uh, but, you know, the, the connection to it being a, a gateway drug is um, less concerning than it was uh, perhaps a few years ago. All right. It's good to see you again. You've stayed away too long from Good Day. He's been I'll busy, be Lori. <laughs> Commissioner, I'll, I'll talk to her. You know, you've been busy. <laughs> <laughs> We're glad you're, glad you're healthy. Thanks for being with us in New York City Health Commissioner, Dr. Dave Choksi. Great to have you on. Thanks so much.